What's up guys, welcome to thepixellab.net. If you guys are interested in making some arrows really fast, this is the tutorial for you. I found a couple resources that are really cool. Um, so this one's called Arrow Toolkit, and it's by Oliver Vogel, and I'll put a link in there. Um, this one actually is not a plugin, it's a preset. So if you go ahead and download it, um, it opens up as a C4D. So we'll double click that, and when you open it, doesn't really look that impressive or much like an arrow. The reason is you need to have a spline to wrap it around. So if we make a circle spline, go ahead and level that out, make it 90, scale it up. All right, this is the spline we're going to use for the arrow. So if we go into the arrow tool in the tab called user data, there's a spline field. So we'll drag that circle spline in there. And now we're talking, now we're getting that sweet arrow. All right, um, you got a lot of options in here. I'll just run over them real quick. You got your offset, um, your length offset. You can even change your mesh subdivisions in here, which is really cool. And the banking, get some rotation on there. And then on the arrow base, you can actually change um, kind of the extrusion with arrow height and uh, scaling of the end so that you can kind of have it go down to a little tail, which is kind of cool. Um, and then the head position, is uh, you can kind of modify the arrow head, right? Um, there's quite a bit of, you know, oh, I guess you can rotate it too, which is pretty cool. That is the arrow tool. Pretty cool, pretty customizable. The other one I'm gonna show you is uh, actually a plugin, and that one is called the Arrow Maker by Microbian. And uh, this one is a plugin where you'll download it and put in your plugins folder. And we'll go ahead and go to Plugins, Arrow Maker. And this one is really cool if you want to customize your arrow. This one has a lot of different things you can do. So under object, you can change the, uh, the arrow head. There's a lot of different things you can do. Uh, you can do double headed arrow, which is cool. You can do, um, you can add flights to the back of it. There's a lot of different customizations you can do on that. Pretty sweet stuff. And then the tail width, tail height, tail indentation. I mean, this is ridiculous. This guy has thought of everything, right? You can change the tapering. All right, that's pretty cool. But the even cooler part is automation, right? If you go to the automation tab, um, through user data, he set it up so that there are uh, just one button to click and it'll perform a function for you. So if we want to put it in extrude nerves, boom, instantly it's an extrude nerves. Fill a cap, just check that on. Um, if we want to add it to a MoGraph cloner, you just click there and it dumps it in a cloner for you. Um, and then add a spline wrap deform, which is pretty cool. So we'll do the same thing. Go ahead and make a circle spline, scale that up, and uh, go back to our, I have to go back to the arrow maker, and then we'll drag that spline into the spline field. See what happens. Nothing at first, because we have to click the button. Here we go. Boom, there it is. Stuck along the spline. And what it does is it actually dumps it into a spline wrap. So on the spline wrap, you know, we can uh, change our offset and whatnot. Um, yeah, so this one is actually really impressive to me. Um, he's got a lot of options on how to customize stuff. Really cool stuff. So if you're ever working with arrows, check out these two free resources. They are awesome, easy to customize, and a lot of fun to play with. That's it for my quick tip of the day. We'll talk to you guys again real soon. Bye, everybody.